guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my September obsessions and I do have one fail this month. Now I first want to apologize because I do know this video is going up a little bit late. It's already almost mid-October but I do have a lot of things that I have been absolutely loving for the month of September and I really wanted to share it with you guys. We're just going to start off with the food items and this is by the brand Good Grains. This is an organic quinoa and kale blend. It contains four steamable bags and each bag all you have to do is pop it in the microwave for about three minutes and 30 seconds. It should be room temperature. It shouldn't be hot. And the thing about this that I really like is that a cup of this equals about 100 calories and this thing is vegan and gluten free. It's really really good. The only thing is that I don't like to eat this plain. I feel that it's too bland. So what I'll do is I'll sprinkle some garlic powder, I'll squeeze some lemon juice on top and then I'll top it off with a sprinkle of cayenne pepper for a kick and it is delicious. This is Kellogg's Special K Low Fat Granola with a touch of honey. This contains about 190 calories per half cup so what I'll do is I'll just take about a fourth of a cup of this and sprinkle it on top of my yogurt in the morning and it gives it like that extra little crunch plus a bit of sweetness since it has that touch of honey yeah. the fit tea the 14 day detox now this actually promotes fat burning weight loss it improves your immune system and it also um, soothes and cleans your digestive system which I'm telling you it really does do that now the thing I like about this is that I have tried other detox teas and I just did not like the taste of them. The, to me they had like a chlorine taste. This one it does not. So this actually contains organic green tea, pomegranate corn, honey powder and when you actually see the tea itself you even see like the little bits of the corn in there or the actual piece of corn that's in the tea. Now I actually got this guy right here, Mr. Tea. So what I'll do is I'll just take a teaspoon of the Fit Tea and put it in his pants. The only thing about it is that Mr. T's holes are a little bit big so what I'll do is I'll take a piece of a coffee filter, line the inside of his pants and then fill my um, fill his pants with the fit tea and then let him chill in my cup. It says that you can also drink this in the morning or before a workout. For me I personally like to drink this in the morning. I don't like to drink it before a workout because I feel really full. I would rather not have any liquids in my stomach before I work out so that's just like a personal preference for me. You do need to work out and drink this. Now if you just drink this detox tea without working out I don't think you're gonna see great results. If you work out and drink this, you will see excellent results and I can definitely say that I have seen really good results with this. Working out and drinking the Fit Tea, they work hand in hand. So now moving on to beauty products and I'm first going to start off with the face and the first one I wanted to mention is this Pure. It's the Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask. This one, it comes out a little bit um, grayish, brownish and then you just place a good amount of this on your face and then you just kind of let it harden. You let it sit on your face between 5 to 20 minutes but personally for me I leave this on for about 30 minutes or so. I love the feeling of this because it kind of just hardens on your face and you can feel it just like it, to me it feels like it's just really sucking out all the impurities in your pores and it's just getting rid of all that j dirt and junk but I have been using this once a week the past a um, couple of weeks and I absolutely love it. Now one of my go-to face products for the past month has got to go to this Garnier BB Cream. This one is the combination to oily in the shade medium deep. I love to mix it with this thing from Buxom which is the Divine Goddess Luminizer in the shade Venus. This one on its own it gives you more of like a matte finish but then when you kind of incorporate this one the Divine Goddess Luminizer it gives you a nice like luminous glow. So I'll set it with the cover effects this is the matte setting powder in the shade medium. These three together, I absolutely love the way how it, I just love the way how it looks. It kind of just mattifies it, but still you can see that nice luminous um, look that it gives. Hope that made sense. As for an eyeshadow palette, it would have to go to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette and there are two colors in here which I have been absolutely loving. It's got to go to this one called Caramel and then this one right here kind of like this burnt color called Morocco. These two I think are beautiful transition colors. They're beautiful crease colors. They just blend so beautifully. Let me just do a live swatch right there. I absolutely love it. There's Morocco and Caramel. Another eyeshadow I've been really loving for the inner eye corners just to kind of give it like that little pop to bring in light to the eyes. It's this Josie Marin. This is the Coconut Water Eyeshadow and this color is the 
Rio de Rose Gold. It is a beautiful rose gold color. It's a nice metallic eyeshadow. Let me show you a swatch of it, like how metallic it is. I mean, that is seriously such a beautiful rose gold color. You really see like that nice metallic finish. It really just pops. As right. for eyeliners, I have two which I've been really loving. The first one I want to talk about is this pencil. This is from the brand LA Girl. This is called the LA Girl Glide On Gel Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Very Black. I absolutely love how pigmented this pencil is. You guys can see it's a really, really nice pigmented black pencil. Now, once it sets, it definitely does not rub off. And I have it today right on my waterline and also on my tight line. And another product is actually a recommendation from my really good friend here on YouTube, Lexi, LexiLa518. I know she was saying that this was one of her holy grails. And this is by the brand Stila. It's the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This one is in the color Intense Black. Now, I absolutely love the precise felt tip of this pen and this thing once it sets it does not budge because it is so precise that it makes creating a wing liner a lot easier. As for a mascara that I've been loving this month it's got to go to this Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. This isn't the waterproof version. I know you guys know I love using waterproof mascara but this one is not. I love the way how this lengthens and also volumizes my lashes. It really gets right into those little tiny lashes that are hidden and it lengthens them. I finally ventured out and tried the Sonia Kashuk. This is the eye makeup remover. It's supposed to gently whisk away any waterproof eye makeup and it does just that. I have no trouble taking off any of my waterproof makeup. This thing removes everything and I can see now why so many people rave about this product because it is a really really good makeup remover. Another, th another thing I like about this is that it's not oily. I have tried other makeup removers removers where it's like super super oily I mean yeah it removes your makeup but you just feel like you just slathered on some olive oil all over your your eyes but this one it does not do that one more eye product would have to go to these false lashes by the brand Daiso Japan and these are the natural eyelashes number 381 I got these from the Daiso store I'll link my Daiso haul down below but these were only $1.50 these were actually recommended by my friend here on YouTube Kathy cat steams and also IJK fam TV she recommended these. She says she always stocks up on these lashes whenever she goes to Daiso and I can see why because they are very, very comfortable. I have tried other la false lashes from Daiso that just irritated the heck out of my eyes. But this one, I had no problem. They're very lightweight. I love the bands on these. And these were very natural. I would definitely highly recommend these and they're only a dollar. Now you guys know the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade is my absolute holy grail. I absolutely love that product. I'll link down below my updated eyebrow routine. However, I'm not a morning person. There have been times when I'm just like rushing to kind of put on my brows because I definitely need to put on my brows when I go to work or else I am like basically browless. So I'll notice in the mirror in the car that I'll like I would have like missed a spot like clearly I missed a spot and luckily I threw this in my bag this month it's the brow bar to go from whitening lightning or they're now known known as Gerard cosmetics this one I believe is the darker set they have one that's lighter so what I'll do is I'll actually mix these two colors down here and I have been using that just to fill in any sparse areas that I might have missed. I'm glad that it was in my bag because I don't carry the dip brow pomade because I'm that confident with that product that my brows will stay on the whole day. But I'm glad that this is in my makeup bag just in case if I just happen to miss like a little area. Moving on to cheek products, I just have one that would have to go to this Tarte blush. This one is in the shade Glisten. It is a beautiful peachy pinky blush. I hope you guys can see it. It's right there. It's a beautiful peachy pinky pinky blush and it has some shimmer. It looks really beautiful on the skin. This is actually the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. So this thing lasts the whole entire, for me, the whole entire work day. And I've been using this in a lot of my makeup tutorials. I've been hooked to this blush. This wouldn't be an obsessions video without lip products. And I have a couple which I wanted to share with you guys. The first one, which is always in my makeup bag, is by the brand City Lips. And this is a lip plumping lip gloss. This one is in the color clear, but it does have a little bit of a tint to it because I do place this over other lip products. I will have a full review on these lip plumpers in the upcoming weeks, so definitely keep an eye out for that. But the reason why I love this is because it really does 
plump your lips without having that really burning or that bee stinging feeling that you get with a lot of other lip plumpers. That's the thing I like about this because you definitely do not have that feeling with this and it definitely also plumps up your lips. That's for me with my experience with this I love it and also it kind of helps really hydrate my lips as well because I have pretty dry lips. I love to use this especially underneath a lot of matte lipsticks to really help plump the lip up and then it doesn't, the matte lipstick doesn't really sink into a lot of the lines of your lips. And these are by the brand Maybelline. These are from the matte, their matte lipstick line, which I'll have already a full review on these by the time this video is up. So the first one I wanted to mention, which I've been loving, is this color right here. Number 655 Daringly Nude. I absolutely love this. Another one which I've been absolutely loving for an everyday use, this one is number 665 called Lust for Blush, which is a beautiful blush pink. There's a swatch of Lust for Blush. Now, I have been enjoying layering this one from Gerard Cosmetics called Buttercream. I have been layering this on top of uh, Daringly Nude and I love the combination. It just gives such a beautiful pinky nudish color. There's a swatch of Buttercream and there's a swatch of Buttercream on top of Daringly Nude. Then final lip product would have to go to this Tarte, this is called the Maracuja Lip Exfoliant. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazeballs. I absolutely love this lip scrub. I think this definitely beats my um, Lush lip scrub or any other lip scrub that I've tried. It does contain Maracuja and it is so nourishing for your lips. It just brings back all of the moisture but it also exfoliates all of the dead skin. Ever since I started using this, I have seen a very big difference in my lipstick application. As for my fail for the month, it has to go to this by the brand L'Oreal Paris. This is the Total Repair Extreme Reconstructing Conditioner. Now there's this one which is, which is the Extreme Total Repair Conditioner and there's also the Regular Total Repair Conditioner. I used to try the Regular Total Repair Conditioner which was, which was okay in my hair but this one, the Extreme, it extremely dried out my hair. I don't know what it was. I tried this out for a week and a half and it just sucked all the moisture out of my hair. So this was my fail for the month. As for my technology product for the month, it has got to go to this by the brand iConcepts. It's a car vent mount for mobile phones. It has basically these teeth which you place right onto the vent of your car and then you can just place your cell phone like this because it has a spring so you can place your cell phone just like that. Or what I'll do is I'll place my vlogging cam in this and I'm able to vlog while I'm driving without holding the camera. Those are all the items which I have been absolutely loving for the month of September. I hope this video isn't extremely long but I really wanted to make sure I shared with you guys all of the items which I have been obsessed with for the month of September. Please leave me a comment or a video link to your monthly obsessions. I'd love to know what items you guys have been obsessed with. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. I truly, truly appreciate all of your support, all of your love. And if you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to be notified of any new videos. and. Um, I definitely have a lot of new videos coming up for you guys. If you have any requests, leave it also in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.